All right, we are in the finals of our 8th edition draft, and... All right, no white mana, but we'll try it. Got a removal spell, a 3-drop, a horrible unholy strength, but... A Western Paladin. Probably won't be as good in this matchup as it was in the last one. This format feels so swingy. Like, you just never know when your opponent's going to have a random card that you can't beat. Well, hopefully we draw some mana. Especially white mana, but mana. Because we can't really play much of anything right now. And if our opponent plays, like, that, uh, is it Trained Armadon? The 3-3 three, three for 3? Our Vicious Hunger doesn't really do anything against that. So I'm guessing this is another big creature deck. That's what Green Red seems to be in this format. Uh, wood Elves. Alright, ramps our opponent a bit. Well, I guess we will probably, if we don't draw land, kill this Wood Elves. Alright, we draw land. So now we're just going to play a Scathe Zombies. So many little creatures in this format. Really crazy. But at least we drew the land. That's encouraging. And this is another one where a Circle of Protection Red could be good out of the board. Raging Goblin. What is happening? Uh... Sure? <laughs> he raged at the world, at his family, at his life, but mostly he just raged. Ogre Taskmaster. Hmm... That thing's a little annoying. Tempted to go Glory Seeker and Unholy Strength, but if they have a removal spell, it's so bad for us. I guess we just play another Scathe Zombies for now, since we're not drawing mana yet. Hopefully they don't have too many more huge creatures. This would be so much better if it was an instant. Could, like, block and then Vicious Hunger or something to kill it, like this Taskmaster. I really don't want to double block an Ogre Taskmaster, especially since it could get blown out by Giant Growth or something. I think we just gotta take it for now, unfortunately. So our opponent have a follow-up. Spitting Spider. Another big creature. Alright, there's a land. Well, now we'll just run out this Western Paladin, I think. That's pretty big. 3-5. I don't know how we kill that too easily. A pacifism would be nice. Wouldn't mind drawing that. We will probably just trade this Western Paladin for this silly ogre. Or try to. Because it doesn't look like there's any white creatures for us to wreck. Alright. Block it. Kill it. So this, our opponent can sack lands to deal one damage to each creature with flying. Haunted Wumpus. So we get to put a creature into play. Hmm. I guess it's, is it Gluttonous Zombie or even Flock? Hmm. I guess we'll go with Gluttonous Zombie. It has more power. Probably going to have to start doing some triple blocking and such, which is not great. We're probably going to try to play Glory Seeker in Unholy Strength or Gluttonous Zombie and try to block in Triple Block. Our opponent is definitely on the big creature plan. This is definitely a matchup where we want to draw Pacifisms and uh, our Tapper Dude. Oh, well, there's a Pacifism. Does that change things? I think so. I think we can just Pacifism this Haunted Wumpus and then Glory Seeker. And then maybe even attack? And then just triple block the spider? And get blown out by giant growth? <laughs> maybe we don't attack. That might be too ambitious. I think we're going to triple block the spider. And if they can somehow get out from under that, then we'll try to unho uh, unholy strength or gluttonous zombie. Orcish artillery. Two damage to a creature, three damage to you. No attacks. Well, I guess we get to play this Aven Flock. I guess our opponent can sacrifice a bunch of lands to kill it. I 
Can we afford to start attacking? I think we have to start attacking, actually. Because of this orcish artillery is going to be killing all of our two drops, or two powered creatures. So we want to make taking three damage a real cost. Alright, they're going to shoot that and then sack a land to kill it. Alright. Down it goes. Follow up is Craw Worm. Well, we will triple block if you decide to attack. No doubt about it. No attacks. Another glory seeker. Well, I guess we're going to go unholy strength on our gluttonous zombie. Speed up the clock a bit. <laughs> Get in for five. Play a glory seeker. Pass the turn. So we're getting to the point where opponent's not going to be able to orcish artillery too much. They go with monstrous growth on the wood elves. Uh, sure. Not too scary. Well, uh, we'll just block and double block. If our opponent wants to keep their crawl worm alive, they'll have to orcish artillery. Oh, our opponent does not activate orcish artillery. Well, if they can kill our gluttonous zombie, we're all of a sudden in really rough shape. Hopefully that is not in the future. Like, somehow combine this with a burn spell. Oh, they're just going to shoot down our scathe zombie. Do they have a... Elvish Pioneer, alright. Well, we get in with gluttonous zombie. Put our opponent to one... Uh, vicious Hunger, I guess it doesn't matter, Raging Goblin, and hope that we live one more turn and they can't kill our Gluttonous Zombie. We're actually not dead to a Monstrous Growth. I think it's, yeah, I think it was basically kill our zombie or lose. So that hunted wump, <laughs> Haunted Wump is kind of backfired on our opponent. It let us put that zombie into play and win. Interesting, interesting matchup. Nausea is actually interesting. Our opponent has a lot of little creatures. Not sure about Circle of Protection. We saw mostly big green creatures, honestly. We could kill a bunch of little creatures with that. Uh, and I think we're just going to run it back. Hope for the best. Oh boy, alright. The finals, game two, and we have a zero lander. But at least our opponent mulliganed as well. This hand is reasonable. Not great by any means, but got a two drop and a couple of four drops. When our opponent's going to five? See, this is <laughs> exactly what I was rambling about between matches. If you can steal the first game, sometimes you can just run into the luck of magic and win because of that. Man, our opponent mulliganed to five and then played Raging Goblin. I don't think that's where you want to be at. That's almost like a mulligan to four. Oh, and we drew the land too. Well, I'm feeling good about this one. Get down a glory seeker. Then we get to go angelic page into two four drops, and I would assume that would close out the game. All right, let's get in with glory seeker. We want to finish this game before our opponent gets a chance to uh, make enough mana to play their big creatures that could kind of lock us out of the game. So, Angelic Page, Planes, Pass. And that does it. Our opponent scooped it up. All right, well, <laughs> first week of Modern Flashbacks, 8th edition edition, went pretty well. Uh... Had no idea what I was doing, but we took down the draft, got 200 play points, opened some random cards <laughs> for our collection, like this really gnarly looking Western Paladin, and saw a lot of weird things happen, because this format is really strange and really awkward and really swingy. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check out the, uh, the website, mtgoldfish.com, 
And this is Saffron Olive, and I'll talk to you soon.